Hello my dear students in grade 6 uh, with you is Dr. Marie and today we are going to continue our revision page 34 in our booklet. The first question label the following diagram with balanced or unbalanced forces. As you see this boy is pushing the other boy and he's moving in the same direction. So this is balanced or unbalanced force. Excellent. As you said, it's unbalanced force. In this picture, both of them are moving in the opposite direction. So this is balanced on or unbalanced force. Excellent. It's balanced force. Look at these two boys. They are standing in a balanced way. Both of them show equal strength and in opposite direction. So this is balanced or unbalanced force. Excellent. It's a balanced force. Question number two. Calculate the speed of a car if it moves 20 kilometers in two hours. First, speed equals distance divided time. Where the distance here is 20 kilometers and where the time here is 2 hours. So the distance will be 20 divided by 2. The answer will be 10 and the unit of measuring speed is kilometers per hour. Calculate the net force of the following. This is following diagram. We said that the net, net force is the summation of all forces that acts on an object. So what is the force here? 50 Newton. And what is the force here? 10 Newton. So 50 plus 10 Newton equals 60 Newton. So the net force here is 60 Newton. As we said, the unit of measuring force is Newtons. Match the following effect of forces to each correct picture. When we say stop moving, which of them of these pictures is stop moving? Excellent. This picture is a stop moving. Number two, start moving. Which of these pictures start moving? Excellent. This boy, he is standing at the beginning or start point he, and he starts moving. Change in speed. Which of these pictures are change in speed? As we said, what the meaning of speed? It's the distance of moving object in amount of time. This boy or this girl is moving in amount of time. So he is a changing his speed. So this is change in speed. Number four, change in direction. Which of these pictures is a change in direction? The first picture, excellent. He's a changing the direction of the ball. Look, it's moving in this direction and then he changed the direction in this way. So this picture indicates change in direction. And the last one, change in shape. Which of them change in shape? Yes. When I squash the ball, I'm changing the shape of the ball. So I'm going to match number five to this picture. Thank you for listening today. See you tomorrow in another session while continuing our revision sheet. Thank you so much. Goodbye.